welcome to another edition of DVD Mania, where I talk about DVDs and Blu-rays I pick up over the course of two or three weeks. Now I know it's been like a month, and it's already March, and I didn't I didn't put up a DVD Mania in February. I don't think I did, but I've been really sick, and I'm just get, now starting getting to get. Uh, I am just now getting over my sickness. So let's go straight into it. I have a ton of great stuff to show you, and actually I have two VHS tapes to show you too which I'm going to show you after the DVD. So let's go ahead and get straight into the DVDs real quick. The first one we're talking about is uh, Carnosaur. There's actually a sequel and a third, another, a second sequel to this, but this is the first one. Um, this is, you don't normally find this. This is a Canadian movie, and um, it's just about this. Uh, I actually never watched it, to be honest with you, but... Uh, of course, it has to do with the, the dinosaur, and he's uh, just attacking people, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I haven't watched it yet, though. But I was really happy to find this. And it was only like five bucks or something. So, Carnosaur. The next one I picked up uh, is Flesh Eating Mothers. Um, you know, this is only five bucks, too. I watched like 20 minutes of this, and this is only 89 minutes. I watched 20 minutes of it. It was pretty boring. I didn't finish it. Um, I might pick it up again if I get my buddy to watch it with me but alone I don't know it just seemed kind of boring nothing really was happening so turn that one off flesh eating mothers uh, this one this is a really cool find this was a uh, this put out this is the Mill Creek title and this is the complete series of Red Baron now you know I love Power Rangers like I love all kinds of uh, stuff like that like Beetleboards and all that kind of stuff and um, this was a show way back in wow, well, I don't even know, but it was way back in the day, and it's basically like, it's like Power Rangers, but they get in they they get inside that big uh, the Red Baron, and they just take down monsters. But it's just like Power Rangers, pretty cool. I watched a few episodes, and I really did like it a lot. This was only three dollars at um at um, Half Price Books, and it was brand new, three dollars. And it has like uh, forty episodes, which is awesome for three bucks. You can't you can't go wrong with that. So yeah. This next one, this is a Goosebumps that I didn't have, and this is Return of the Mummy. Um, this one has Return of the Mummy, Don't Wake the Mummy, and You Can't Scare Me. And actually, I liked, I liked the last episode the best, You Can't Scare Me. It's about this mud monster that uh, Eddie, this, kid named, this boy named Eddie, nobody believes him that there's actually a mud monster because he always tries to scare this little girl. And then at the end, the mud monster comes out and the girl gets scared of it or whatever. But it's really cool, and the mud monster looked pretty funny, <laughs> like... It was made back in like the 90s, so I mean, it was it was pretty cool. Now uh, the next one, the next one is uh, my favorite show of all time. I have the I got the first and second season, and the third one just came out. I had to pick this one up, and I really really hope they continue to put these out. This show is just so great, and this one is the third season of The Family Matters. I love this man. This show makes me laugh all every single episode. I laugh. Steve Urkel's hilarious. My favorite character, believe it or not, is Carl. He's just hilarious, man. Carl is so funny. His facial expression, the the things he says, he's just so so funny. And this show is amazing. I really hope they put out the rest. I think there's like eight or nine seasons. This is the third season, so I really hope they put out the rest. Family Matters, the third season. I recommend this one highly. And, um, finally, um, you know, I got Season 1, Volume 1, and Season 1, Volume 2 of the Power Rangers. And finally, they released Season 2, Volume 1, uh, of the Power Rangers. Here it is. And, um, this one was only, like, 13 bucks or 15, 14 bucks, something like that. Um, and this one, finally, uh, we get to see the White Ranger. And I'm really excited to crack into this one. I haven't watched any of these episodes yet. I barely finished the second volume two like a few days ago so and there's a ton of episodes they give you a ton of episodes on here they give you like um let me see real quick they give you tw like, almost 30 episodes so that's a, i mean it's, you know that's a lot but they're really cool and like i said i'm really happy to have this and it, actually look this one, lord zed is in that one so that's pretty cool um so yeah season two volume one the power rangers okay Next up is the VHS tapes I told you. Now, my friend, he always goes and looks for VHS tapes. 
And if he ever finds anything that he thinks I like, he always sends me pictures of it. He found these two. And these are Goosebumps. Now, you know, the other the other Goosebumps VHS tapes I have, they're in, like, clam shell, the hard boxes. They're like this. Here, I'll show you. They're like this in this hard box or whatever. You know, it's, these are actually in these little sleeves, like normal VHS tapes. Like normal VHS tapes. They're in these plastic, not plastic, these paper sleeves. I actually have this on DVD, One Day at Horrorland Part 1 and 2. But this one, this is actually a really, really rare VHS tape of Goosebumps. And this is when it was Ultimate Goosebumps, if anybody remembers that. Maybe just me. But this is um, Werewolf Skin Parts 1 and 2. This was awesome, man. These episodes were so, so good. Me and my friend watched this together. I really love these episodes. I was really happy he gave me this. And uh, that cover is cool, too, if you can see that. It's pretty cool. This VHS tape actually goes for like 10, 10 or 15 bucks. I, I thought that was pretty cool, too. But um, this is not on DVD. This is the only way you can watch this is on this tape right here. So, I'm really happy to have this, and really happy to add this to my collection. Next up are the Blu-rays. Um, I got a ton of Blu-rays. And the first three, six, the first six are, are, are all Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Now, you know I went to go watch The, the Last End. And um, I, I liked it a lot. I love seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger back in cinema. And um, I just went on the Arnold Schwarzenegger binge. Like, I had to get, I don't know why, but I just got all his, pretty much all his movies. Um, the first one I got, this is actually a DVD. This one's True Lies. Cool movie. I liked it a lot. And the special effects are crazy. Um, the, uh, the, like, the green screens they use are pretty bad. But it, it was pre it's pretty cool. Though. A lot of great action. This one has Jamie Lee Curtis. You know, everyone's seen this one. This one's actually not even on Blu-ray. That's why I had to get the DVD, but... Um, I just love Arnold Schwarzenegger as an actor. He's really, really cool. This one's True Lies. Next one I got was Collateral Damage. This one, if, if you don't know about this one, this one, uh, these terrorists kill his, kill, kill his family at the beginning of the movie, and he's just after them, pretty much. He has, to do, he has, to, he has a bunch of action. Um, really cool. This was a 2000, made in 2002. One of the last movies he made before he became governor. And, um, I don't know, I liked it. Maybe some people don't, but I, I, I enjoyed it. Collateral Damage. This next one, I had never seen this one. Actually, I thought I had never seen it. Until I watched it and I realized I had seen it. This one, um, I got this one offline. This is only, it's, it's not the price on the sticker right here. I'll tell you that right now. This is only five bucks shipped. Right here it says ten ninety nine, but I don't I'm not sure why, but anyways, I got this online. This was the sixth day. This is a really cool movie. Um, this one's about this. This is about Arnold Schwarzenegger. He and he they make him take this. He's a he 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 flies uh, helicopters, and they make him. Some guy comes and makes him take take this test to prove his identity for some reason, and they actually take his DNA or whatever to clone him because they're in the future. And, um, they're in the future where cloning is illegal, like, it's like the most illegal thing you can do. So they clone him, and he has no idea until he gets home, and he sees himself through the window, he sees himself with his family, and he starts going crazy, you know? So, he's trying to destroy his clone at first, but then, really, he's just trying to get to the guy that cloned him to, to begin with. It's really cool, really well done. For being made in the year 2000, it was a really good movie. I really recommend this one, The Sixth Day. These next two, you'll be surprised. I, I've never seen these movies until I bought them on Blu-ray. I got these for ten bucks, I think, ten bucks each. And this was a uh, Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer. And I'm not gonna go over these. Everybody should know about these movies. They look pretty cool on Blu-ray, though. I like I like when he like was cutting up that snake with the, the sword. That was pretty sick. That was pretty cool. Um, I heard he's making another one. I don't know. I never seen. I never saw the, the, the remake or whatever. I never saw that one. But these two. Cla instant classic. I like the second one a lot better. The second one was really cool. That monster at the end was awesome. So, really recommend these if you haven't seen them. Right, his next two are probably his most popular films, his greatest films. The first one is Predator. Now, the Blu-ray 
A lot of people said it had a terrible transfer. Um, there was only one part. There's only one part that I thought looked pretty bad. But for the most part, it looked pretty good, in my opinion. I mean, I've seen a lot. I th it, I just, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm not saying it's great. But the transfer was not terrible. I've seen a lot of a lot worse movies being transferred. But this one was, I mean, the movie's excellent. Um, but it has a lot of great special features on here. Documentary, audio, com a bunch of commentaries. There's two documentaries, a bunch of features, a bunch of featurettes, um, deleted scenes, a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of uh, <clears throat> special features. I only got, the, I got this for $7, which is pretty cool. I got this brand new at Walmart. And at the same time I bought this, I bought this next one, which, in my opinion, is probably, well, I can't say. Because Terminator 2 was was a, an amazing film, one of my favorite films of all time. But this one is just so good. This one's Total Recall, the Mind Bend Edition. This was $7, too, which is pretty cool. But this movie is just so, so good. It just reminds you how how good the origi original movie is going to be. Because the remake, I heard the remake was terrible. I've never seen it. But this movie, man, you just, it was just so good. I really, really enjoyed this one. Total Recall. <clears throat> these next ones, <clears throat> these next ones are, uh, let's see here. The next one here is Batman, The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. This is part two of the of uh, the Dark Knight Returns series. I'm not sure if they're gonna make a third one, but this one was really cool. This one he goes against the Joker, um, and like Joker gets out of the asi the uh, insane insane asylum, and he starts just killing people. You know, this is very this is not like uh, kid oriented. This is very this is, was PG thirteen, but. They show people getting, he's just shooting people to death, like, like nothing. And Batman's just trying to stop him. At the same time, the president wants Superman to stop Batman. It's, it's really crazy. Um, at the end sequence, there's a fight at the end. It's just amazing. It was awesome. Really, really well done. And this is an animated movie. Probably part one and part two together are probably the, mo the greatest animated movies made of all time. As far as, as far as DC. Because they made a bunch of other ones, but it's just so good. So good. Really recommend this one. Batman's Dark Knight Returns Part 2. Right, this next one's a classic movie. You had to pick this one up. This one's the Diamond Edition of Peter Pan. Um, <clears throat> I got this one at Walmart. Cool thing was, when I went to go buy this, the sticker said like twenty four eighty eight or whatever. But when I scanned it, it came up at seventeen seventeen ninety nine, Which, whatever, you know, I don't care. <laughs> but anyways, Peter Pan, classic movie. I've always loved this movie. My dad actually got this on tape <clears throat> a long time ago when I was a little kid, and he uh, recorded it. He rented the tape, and he recorded it onto another tape so we could keep it. And we st I still have that original tape. And um, <clears throat> it's always one of my favorite movies, my, Dis my favorite Disney movies. It's always been one of my favorites. And it actually looked awesome on Blu-ray, so Peter Pan. Next one I want to talk about is Bully. Um, I heard a lot about it. I picked it up. It was only like twelve dollars or something. I picked this one up. It's a documentary about kids who are bullied uh, in like middle school, uh, high school, and um, it's very, very interesting. But I just feel like I don't know. I feel like the the principal in here is just it was just it's embarrassing to see. What, see a school that can have a principal like that who doesn't really care these kids are getting bullied and they're in there and they're telling her and she just doesn't really do anything which is sad and <clears throat> it, it's it's mainly about this one boy in here uh what's his name uh i can't think of his name right now I'm trying to see what's on the back here it's not about <clears throat> yeah, it's not on the back of here but Really recommend this one if you can, if if you if you can watch. It. I think I think it might be a red box. I'm not sure, but this movie is just, it was pretty good. Uh, it's a documentary, but it's just about kids who get bullied and how they overcome it. Um, and they actually show like kids getting bullied, like on the bus and stuff. And um, it's pretty hard to watch at some spots, but but. Um, 
Very well done. Very well done, bully. This next one, I have the first three. So I had to pick this one up. This one's Paranormal Activity 4. Uh, probably the weakest film in the whole series, just to be honest. If I had to put it at how I like them, I would put... If I had to put them in order of how I like them, I would put 3, 1, 2, 4. <clears throat> this one was... There was not even that much paranormal activity in it to begin with. And what they did do, it's just like, I saw that in the first one. So it, it's, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't bad. The part with the Xbox, that was pretty cool. But... But it's really, but there's really not anything new to it, is what I want to say. And I heard they're making a fifth one. Uh, they probably should have just stopped after the third one. This next one. This next one I got for seven dollars, and this one is the Woman in Black. I know this came out like, uh, well, it came out in 2012, like a few months ago, actually. Like, I think during Halloween, it's already seven dollars. <clears throat> uh, I picked this one up just because I really liked the movie. I didn't pick it up originally when it first came out. Um, but for $7, I couldn't pass this one up. And it had the sleeve, which is pretty cool. Uh, that was pretty cool. This was only seven eighty eight at Walmart, surprisingly. So, yeah, Woman in Black is a great movie. I did a, a review of it in one of, my vlogs, one of my vlogs in the past. So, yeah, Woman in Black. Now, these next three are the ones I'm going to show you before I show you this box set, this Blu-ray box set I got. So... These first two are by Scream, Scream Factory, and this one's The Nest on Blu-ray. This was really cool. I liked it. The, the special effects were, were crazy. Basically about this outbreak of cockroaches that are killing people, that kind of like infecting people, and then they turn into these ugly looking monsters. It's crazy. I liked it. A lot of people didn't like it, but one thing I will say is the Blu-ray transfer it was not that good, but when they showed the, the monsters and stuff, it was actually really good, so... Um, I can't say anything bad about this movie. I liked it a lot, The Nest. Next one I want to talk about is Terrorvision and The Video Dead. Now, I haven't watched The Video Dead because I was going to watch it with my friend. But Terrorvision was really, really cool. It was about this dad who sets up this huge satellite and a monster gets sent away from in space and gets trapped in the signal of the satellite and goes into his TV, which is <laughs> crazy. But... It starts coming out. It comes out of the TV and starts eating people in the house or whatever. It's really cool, and then they have to stop it at the end. And the guy who the, the alien who sent it from space, like explains what they have to do and stuff. It was really really cool. This, this is from the '80s, so the the special effects were awesome. Um, again, the transfer was not that great, but um, again, it wasn't bad. So yeah, that's Terrorvision, and I cannot wait to watch the video dead. <clears throat> this, last, this next one, before I show you the box set, is a Best Buy exclusive, and this one is Dead Sushi. I picked this one up. I had not heard anything about it, um, but after watching it, man, this movie was insane. Like, it was awesome. It was, this is about this girl who wants to be a sushi uh, chef, like, yeah, sushi uh, chef, and, but the, her, her teacher says she's not good enough, so she runs away. Uh, she gets hired by this ho little hotel, <clears throat> and uh, so she makes food for people there. She serves people that are there, and then at one point she makes a sushi, and it gets infected by, um, I forgot what it got infected by, but anyways, the sushi com the comes to life, and it starts killing everybody. <laughs> it's crazy, if you can believe that. Sushi killing everybody. Um, but there's this one sushi... That kind of like becomes her friend. Is it again? This is an Asian film. This is it was it was bizarre. The special effects were insane. I'm gonna show you. I don't want to show you all of it, but I'm gonna show you this one part. If you can see that right there, that's pretty cool. But this movie is really really good. I'm I'm really happy to have this. And uh, again, this is a Best Buy exclusive. I think just the Blu-ray is exclusive. You can get the DVD in other places, I believe. But um, really well done, and I love the special effects. So Dead Sushi. <clears throat> these last ones, these are classic, classic films that I had never watched until I got this box set. And you're not going to believe this. But this is the 25th anniversary Blu-ray collection of Bruce Willis 
as John McClane in Die Hard. I watched Die Hard, Die Hard 2, and Die Hard 3. I love those three films. Instantly. Those movies were awesome. The first one, I love the how the fact that he doesn't wear shoes the whole movie. That was really cool. Um, the third one, I actually like the third one a lot. I like the, I like, of them solving each little test and going on to the next one. I thought that was really cool. The second one was cool with the plane. That was awesome. Now, the fourth one, Live Free or Die Hard, it's on here too. <clears throat> I watched about halfway through and I turned it off. I just didn't really like it. Um, I'll probably finish it, but just Justin Long, it just wasn't the same. It just wasn't, wasn't the same. It, it didn't even seem he was like really be portraying John McClane as he once did. I'm not, I don't know. But the first three films were amazing. So I really recommend those three films. If you've never seen them, go watch them right now. You will not be disappointed. Um, and I'm really happy to have this box set. It comes in this hard box. And it comes out like in this little book. <clears throat> and all the discs come here in these little sleeves. Which is fine because the, the Blu-ray discs are like are different than DVD discs. And they won't scratch as easily. And um, so yeah. That is Die Hard. The four film collection. <clears throat> and that is going to do it for this DVD Mania. Thank you for coming by guys. I will see you guys next time.